Asian. And Brother Swagger says, I see no difference between that. Means 55 million. He considers them to be drug addicts. The only difference is that he is not going far enough. In Islam, we say even your social printer. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girlfriend Longo. And we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. Before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel with the real SMVP. And also we wanna thank the people who've been able to give us reaction videos. You've been giving us a lot of reaction videos. We're trying to do them slowly by slowly. And yeah, I mean, it's been such a nice uh, what do you call this? Uh, amazing journey learning about uh, a lot of things in Islam and even other religions and stuff like that such an amazing uh, time to live anyway so right about now a lot of people suggested that we should go react to the dad and his best uh, the dad at his best part 10 we've been doing from part 1 up to I remember 7 was the last so this is part 10 uh, probably I think there's part maybe 8 and 9 and stuff like that yeah, so without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Mark 12, chapter 29 through the 30 verse. Muslims agree with Christians that there is only one God, but how do Muslims love God without a change of heart? The change of heart. Look at the Muslims. Look at that. Jesus said, by the fruits you shall know them. Do men gather figs from the thistle or grapes from the thorn? Said every good tree will be a good fruit and every evil tree will be evil fruit. Here is the test. The fruit. Islam has created the biggest society of teetotalers in the world. There are some 1,000 million Muslims in the world and almost as a whole, they are teetotalers. They don't imbibe alcohol. Here is the fruit. My own particular race, the most racist people on earth, you know, the Hindus of India, the, 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 the caste Hindus, the, 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 the super was Brahmin caste, my nation. And you see, the same nation, the most racist nation on earth, becomes one who accepts the black and the white, the rich and the poor in his brotherhood. The change. With all these claims that are being made for Christianity, Jesus Christ transforming people's lives, you know, the, the old you goes out of you and the new you comes into you. I said, my dear brothers and sisters, look, in this mighty nation of America, according to Brother Swaggart, 11 million drunkards. That's what he says. 11 million drunkards and 44 million heavy drinkers. Your nation. And Brother Swaggart says, I see no difference between that. Means 55 million. He considers them to be drunk. The only difference is that he is not going far enough. In Islam, we say even your social printer. The Holy Quran says, but before that the Prophet Muhammad said, so whatever intoxicates in greater quantity is forbidden even in smaller quantity. No excuse for a nib or a pot. Out. The Holy Quran says, Ya Lazina Amun. So all you who believe, in the Malhanru, most certainly intoxicants, while Maisir and gambling. Brother Swagat in his book on gambling says 54 billion a year you are squandering on gambling. Well, Maisiru, well, Ansabu and fortune telling, well, Aslamu and idol worship, Ritsum bin Amadi Shaitan are an abomination of Satan's handiwork. Fajtani Uhula Allah kuntu Frehun. It's a shank such abomination that you may prosper. And wine barrels were emptied in the streets of Medina, never to be refilled. This is the fruit. This is the fruit of this teaching. With 2,000 years of preaching, look at it. You have these powers of miracle working. Christ gives life. He heals the sick. Muhammad couldn't. In the name of Muhammad, they couldn't do it. I said, my brothers, you don't read the scriptures. Jesus Christ, he said, for they shall arise many false Christs and false prophets who will show you great signs and wonders if it were possible to deceive the very elect. If false Christ can do that, If false Christ can perform miracles, if false prophets can perform miracles, then I says, is this a test of your faith? No. Then Jesus Christ tells those who are doing this miraculous work, 
He's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew that on that day, on the last day, on the day of judgment, He says, many will come to me on that day, say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? In your name, in the name of Jesus, didn't you do all these things? Didn't we do all that? He said, yes. He said, then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. He said, yeah, that's right. You. He won't tell the Jews, depart from me, for a sec, get away, I don't know you. He won't tell the Hindus, get away from me, or the atheists, get away from me. He will tell you. I don't know why. Why would he tell you? I don't even know you, get out. I says, look, these are on the test. John the Baptist, according to Jesus, one of the mightiest messengers of God. Jesus says, among those born of women, there has not risen another greater than John the Baptist. And yet he performed no miracles. Did he? Sure, what did he do? What miracles? No, miracle is not a test. But the greater miracle is that without any miracles you transform nations. Nations are transformed. One thousand million people, they don't imbibe alcohol because of the dictates of Muhammad. Generally, this is an amazing uh, topic or maybe discussion or something like that. I think people should should learn and try to practice what the scripture is saying. Because I think most of the people just overlook the scripture and go against what it says. I don't know. And even not not only other religions, even the Muslims themselves, there are other people, there are other Muslims who feel like they want to go against the scripture and do what the scripture uh, doesn't say or something like that. I mean, at this day and age, things are changing, and people tend to like you know fit in into the society whereby you you feel like uh, if I'm this type of a person, I'm gonna look cool. If I drink and smoke, I'm gonna look so cool. You get it? These are things that uh, I think they're brought by peer pressure. They're brought by is it peer pressure? Yeah, yeah. One of it is peer pressure. Another thing is being idle. Uh, another thing is just. Uh, the, the urge of trying something, you get it? The urge of thinking that you're man enough or thinking that you're, you're late enough. And again, there's what we call self-entitlement. Uh, most of the young people nowadays, you can't tell them anything. They feel like they're so entitled to, to do whatever thing they want to do. Even if their parents tell them, you know what, these things are bad, they'll still go and do, and do those things. Even when they read the scripture and the scriptures says like you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't do that, they will still want to go in and do the same things. I mean, such an amazing message. This should go to everybody out there who uh, who's in any religion and he, he, he or she practices the religion according to what it says, you get it? Um, so do you think people should follow what maybe the book say, holy book say? I think so. If that's the, uh, you see, like, what the Bible say is, 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 is the way, the life, and I don't know, I can't remember what it says. I think it's, it's really important enough to follow what the book says, because if that's the way towards the heavens get, why not? But then here is what they say, people are developing the world. Mm -hmm. Should something come up tomorrow, we all want to change to follow what the word is doing, mm -hmm. and not what the maybe say Bible says? Mm -hmm. I was thinking, because you were talking about consumption of what, a wine, or mm -hmm. alcohol, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. but Jesus made, did Jesus turn water into wine? Yeah. So is that the same in the Bible and Quran? I, I don't know about that verse, but was it, was it really true that he turned water into wine and did people drink that wine? Or he just turned it into wine, you get it? Yeah, okay, moving away from the point. So you think okay. he turned barrels of water into wine for nothing? I don't want to... It was for celebration, yes? I don't want to go into details about that. I don't know much no, I'm about... I'm just thinking, it's a thought. Okay, so you're saying it was for celebration? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If Jesus turned water into wine, mm -hmm. why would he turn it into wine for what? Maybe for people to drink. That's what I'm thinking. 
So, so if someone stands up today and defends themselves and says, but I'm just drinking a little bit, I'm not drinking to get drunk. I don't know. I mean, so every, always every... Be that one person to argue like that. Yeah, but that sounds, I, I don't know. I think people should just, my thought concerning the entire video is that people should just not consume things that are harmful to their bodies. Yeah, if you know consuming wine or any alcohol is is harmful to your body, then just stop doing that. Not or just maybe wine and other foods as well. But now according to the scriptures and stuff like that, you understand? Because if you go back uh, deep and we look at uh, all this alcohol, and uh, wine probably spirits i mean you find that they are connected to something else you get it but again that's a story f uh, i mean that's a topic for another uh what do you call it, another video yeah i mean people should should learn to understand that consumption of bad things they're gonna affect you eventually they get it just try and be a person who is mindful of what you put in your in your what in your mouth because somebody said like peace begins in your mouth or peace begins in your food what you eat is what you are so that's the most important thing here yeah. and also okay. let's try to follow the scriptures too very important very, at very the important. end of the day i feel like you should have self-discipline if you're going to be christian maybe live by the bible if you're going to be muslim maybe live yeah. by what the quran says yeah exactly don't be um don't be christian just by the step for the sake of saying i'm christian but yet when you go out into the world you act like i don't know yeah like you act different or you act something else you understand like you do the opposite you know like calling a shouldn't just be on sunday it should be throughout calling what sorry holiness oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah it, should, it, should, it shouldn't be that way you know people go go think that it's only Sunday then after Sunday they forget everything they don't even pray they don't even do anything and then on Sunday that's when they decide to and uh, it really, you know, no, but that's just that. not applicable to Christians These yeah are also as well. yeah also Muslims will go to to uh mosque on Fridays I mean it shouldn't be only Fridays but it should then it, be, does, it, it should doesn't be something have to move around going to church or for prayer or whatever the case I'm Muslim but I feel like I can only only be good to other people that are what practice the same religion mm -hmm. as me do you yeah. understand mm -hmm. whereby i'm even okay with myself treating someone else like a dog like they're nothing that's what i'm trying to say yeah. anyway yeah i mean such an amazing uh, such an amazing topic guys just let us know in the comment section what do you think anyway guys if you feel like you'd react to this video in a better way to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction what you feel about this video of uh, i mean did that on uh, he, uh, part, part, what, part 10 or something like that just let us in the comment section and also let us know if you have any kind of reaction video just let us know too and we're gonna do, we, we will do it for you and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we keep subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out